what he said. So, while he spoke, we decided to eat our sandwiches instead. Oh, egg and banana, said young Paul to me. What sort of sandwich is that? Egg and banana have the papal colours, says I. Now eat it up, you little brat. And then Pius lit up a cigarette. I said, put that out, you little swine. But why? says he. Because it's mass, says me. And besides, you're only nine. <laughs> and then young John Paul spoke up and I couldn't believe his cheek. Mammy, can we leave at communion like we do every other week? <laughs> at last the mass was ended and we got ready to go home. But as a little treat, says I to them, I'll buy you as an ice cream cone. But sure, where will you get an ice cream here? inquired my little clan. Are you blind or what? says I to them. Do you not see the ice cream van? Well, they looked at me like I had two heads, saying, Mammy, are you for real? Sure, that's not the ice cream van at all. That's the pork mobile. <laughs> Well, I can tell you that I was scarlet. I felt like such a dope. The man I thought was Mr. Whitty was actually the Pope. <laughs> but we set out home exhausted, but happy all the same. And I think the husband and children were not too sad they came. And on the bus, the same old ladies were singing all the time another 300 verses of O Sacrament Divine. But these are my memories, the ones I can still remember, of that glorious day in 79, the 29th of September. Thank you.